Hello everyone and welcome to this Ring in the Python series. So this is our first session on this one and we will be learning step by step. And in this first session, we will learn what is Selenium, why we need to learn with Selenium with Python. So let's begin. Selenium is very much popular these days and you have heard about Selenium very often these days. So let me go to the browser here and let's go to their official website to understand what is Selenium. So Selenium automates the browser. That's it. So what do you do with that power? It's entirely up to you. So this means that you can automate your web application. So primarily it is for automating the web application for the testing purposes. But obviously there are certain tasks like there are some boring tasks, the long tasks which you need to execute it again and again. You can automate those tasks as well which are web based. Okay. And when we talk about the CVM, CVM is a collection of test suit which will help you to automate. Right. So this test suite basically consists of three major tools. One is Selenium WebDriver. We have Selenium ID, then Selenium Grid. So when we talk about Selenium WebDriver itself, so it is, it will actually help you to create robust browser based regression automation suits and tests, which you can run across the different environments, different browsers, different platforms, and you will be using different programming languages provided by or supported by Selenium in order to write the scripts. Okay. And in this series, we will be learning the Selenium web browser because this is a robust one in order to automate your web applications. Then we have Selenium ID. So if you want some very basic scripts, if you want to have some basic workflows which needs to be automated for quick bug reproduction or something like that. In that case, Selenium ID is basically a browser based extension through which you can record a scenario, the playback that scenario in order to see what is happening with your application. Then we have a Selenium grid. So Selenium grid is basically help you to run your script across different machines in parallel. You can run across different environments, different browser and platform combinations. So whenever you have a requirement to execute your Selenium scripts uh, across a different platform, environments, browsers, then you will be using a Selenium grid because it will help you to run across the different machines. Now, when we talk about Selenium WebDriver itself, because in this case, we will be learning the Selenium WebDriver step by step. So in this case, uh, if we go here, just go to the uh, download section here first. So here you will see that Selenium clients and web driver language bindings are these. So this means that you can write your scripts in different languages. So these languages or the supported languages are C sharp, Ruby, Java, Python and JavaScript. So if we talk about Selenium, so one of the most popular language on which most of the automation engineers work is the Java. Then now in today's world, Python is also getting so much popular with the Selenium. So that's why we are learning this series with the Python itself. Okay. And, and I will show you why it is getting popular. And if you go here, so you, if you want to use some previous versions of the Selenium, so some, in some cases, what happens is that if you go to some company or if your company is working on the older version of the Selenium, then what to do? So from here, you go here and click on this one. So you will see that you have all the previous versions available here. Okay. So you might join a company where they are still working on, for example, 3.1.4, 1.59. So then you have to set up your project with this specific version. Okay. And if we go down here, as we say that the web driver or Selenium supports multiple browsers. So if we click on this one, so it supports Firefox, it supports Internet Explorer, Safari, Opera, Chrome, Edge, all the major browsers are supported by the Selenium. Then we talk about the operating system here. So Selenium is supported across three major platforms, which is Microsoft Windows, then Mac OS, then Linux. Okay. And if we go here on the top, 
and let me go to the documentation sections here now okay so here uh, you get a lot of information in terms of how to work with this email okay and they have provided a sample scripts as well just so that you can start working on this one okay we scroll down here so this is how it looks like in java right so this script is basically opening a website in the chrome and and it is closing the driver so we will learn about these things step by step and as i said that we will be learning this with the python right so here you see this code okay so one two three four five six seven eight lines of code for this one and here you will see a four liner code for the python so python itself is very simplified language very easy to work with this one so that's why you so if we talk about this code you know it's pretty much easy to understand as compared to java itself right so that that's and you know the python is very much popular in terms of ai data science and all the things right and because of its simple syntax because of easy to understand easy to learn language this is the one of the very main reason why Zillion is very much getting popular these days with the python right so that's why we are learning with this one so we will learn about this one step by step and if you know about some important documentation links so we go to the download section again so we are working with the python so click on this first link second link and third links so basically when we talk about the web driver so eventually you will be using an api we'll see how we can use this one so if we go this one this is stable version 4.14.0 and here if you want to configure a selenium right and if you want to use a selenium web driver so here you need simple this command you just need to execute this command and you are done as compared to if you have ever worked on selenium with java so you need to download the jars you need to add them in your project and if you are using a maven so then in that case maven would be downloading that for you but here is it is more simplified so here again you will see some uh, useful links this is a github account this is a selenium project account this is a selenium chat room so if you go here so so this is a github account so here you will also get some documentations link and all the things and if we go up here so in the issues section you will see that uh, you might be facing something and you are you might not be getting some answer over the google itself so you might need to come here and see maybe there is some bug which has been reported by anyone else and even if you know exactly you can report a bug and also in some cases a feature as well okay and here if we go with the support so you will see that selenium has their slack channel as well okay so if you go here click this one so you can join their slack channel and you will learn a lot of things here okay right now i'm not going to slack itself so you can just go and uh, see how things are working on the their official slack channel okay and then we have this uh, documentation here and when we talk about this documentation so again they have some useful links then how to start with this one what are drivers so some basic examples here right but we will be start learning step by step in this series so you don't need to worry about this one but these links are really really helpful when you are working with the selenium either you are working with the java or you might be working with the python or any other language Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share, and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.